Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Mr. B Teaches Math. Uh, today, guys, what I thought I would do is I would again combine two lessons in one and go over some practice um, because they actually follow the same rule. Um, when you multiply integers together, uh, I'm going to actually just, rather than show you all kinds of diagrams and stuff on how to do that stuff, I'm going to get you to memorize a rule. When you multiply integers together, you need to look at the number of negative signs in the question. If there is an even number of negative signs, then your answer is going to be positive. If there's an odd number of negative signs, the answer is going to be negative. It's like, plain and simple. So if you have like one negative sign, three negative signs, five negative signs, um, or other odd numbers, your answer, your product, is going to be negative. If you have an even number, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, all the way up, your answer is going to be um, positive. Plain and simple. Okay? So, let's go through some practice for a second. Uh, positive 3 times positive 5. Positive 15. Uh, here I have two negative, two negative signs. Um, it's an even number, so it's positive 15. Here I have an odd number of negative signs. I have negative 3 um, times positive 5. So my answer is negative because it's an odd number. Here I have negative 2 times positive 3 times negative 4. I have an even number of negative signs. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24. Even number means positive. So it's positive 24. Here I have an odd number. So my answer is negative 24. Okay, and here I have positive 5 times positive 4 times positive 10 times negative 1. I have an odd number of negative signs, which means my answer is negative. 5 times 4 is 20, times uh, 10 is 200, times 1 is 200. So the answer is negative 200. It's really, really straightforward. Even number of negative signs, answer is positive. Odd number of negative signs, answer is negative. Okay? Likewise, with dividing integers, same rule. Even number of negative signs, answer is positive. Odd number, answer is negative. Okay? Really, really simple. Same rule. Okay? Positive 10 divided by positive 5, positive 2. Positive 10 divided by negative 5, negative 2, because there's only 1. Negative uh, 10 divided by negative 5, positive 2, because I have an even number of negatives. Negative 10 divided by positive 5, negative 2, because there's only one, there's one negative sign. Okay? Really simple rule. I, I need you to memorize that. That's all I need you. That's all I need you to do for practice tomorrow. Have a great night.